Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Eagles True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts for tips, tricks, and techniques to make your Excel dashboards awesome. All right, uh, today I'm going to show you a Google Mail or a Gmail trick. I talked with a lot of folks and they weren't quite sure how to do this, so I thought let me make a post about this. So uh, let's say you have um, you want to make a table, just a kind of a simple table like you see here in Excel and you want to copy this and let's say you want to then put that in the body of a Google email I'm just going to hit control V or paste notice it has put it in my email but I've lost all my grid lines and maybe I want to see those grid lines looks like a lot of the other data is kind of coming across okay some of the colors are okay I'm using Excel 2007 uh, but it's not exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to actually have some of the tables in here, maybe some of the colors. Um, if I look up at the uh, menus here for uh, my Gmail email, I'm seeing text color, emoticons, links, numbered lists, bullet lists, quotes. I don't actually see anything uh, related to making a table, so I'm not sure how I get these borders back in here. Let me undo that and then go back to my spreadsheet. Um, so if you want something where you've actually got uh, this grid and this table created in Excel, um, how can you go about doing that? Well, kind of a simple trick, but it's uh, if you're not aware of it, uh, it can drive you kind of batty, especially just trying to create the table initially without starting in Excel uh, right in Gmail. So what I recommend when you want to do a table in Google Mail is come out here into Excel, create your table and highlight it, then right click or copy it with control C and then what you want to do is you want to open up Microsoft Word so now we're in Microsoft Word and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in Microsoft Word and you can see my table formatting kind of holds I've got the bolds down here on these lines I've got the grid lines in here all my colors and centering and everything's kind of there as well now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and then copy the entire table so you know, undo that just paste it again I uh, thought it would be highlighted, but you can see right at the very top left here, if I click on that uh, table properties kind of a move icon, it highlights the entire chart. Let me show you that again. So I'm just kind of clicking away. You can click on different cells and things, but if I want to click on the whole chart, there's just that little uh, double crosshairs right under the top. I'm going to hit Control C or Control X, either one will work, and take it out of Word and then go open up your Gmail uh, email that you're going to do go into the body text and do control V or paste and look at that it's got the grid lines now it has bold at the top my information is centered uh, it's got bold at the bottom and I've got grid lines everywhere so uh, it's a way to quickly move something from Excel right into a Gmail email uh, but the trick is to first go down to Microsoft Word and put that in Microsoft Word so uh, you can see that we copied this straight out if we do it right from Excel let's go do that again and just kind of show you and you'll see here that it uh, will paste look at that it's all left aligned there's no grid lines uh, my bold's gone everything's gone so uh, what you want to do is you open up Microsoft Word paste it there take the chart and copy or cut then go back to your email, paste it there, and look at that, you got all the formatting that you had from Excel. That is the easiest and quickest way I know to make a table in Google Mail uh, or Gmail and is to go from Excel into Word. I think what it's doing is it's uh, creating an XML file for you uh, and then putting it into Gmail um, into this editor. So, uh, so there you have it. That's the quick and easy way to do it. Uh, once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at excel-templates.com.